Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers. We have 129 to the seventh power and 15 to the power 12. And we're going to determine which number is larger. Of course, we're going to do this without using a calculator. If you have a calculator, you can use the log logarithms to you know, compare these two numbers, but that's not what we're going to do. So we're going to be using some algebraic methods or arithmetic properties of arithmetic, whatever. Okay, so we have these two numbers. And when you think about these numbers, they are large numbers, pretty large, like, you know, 14, 15 digit numbers. And uh, they're not that far apart. And at the end, I'm going to show you what those numbers are actually numerically. So you'll get to see how they compare as well. Okay, so here's what I'd like to use. I have 129, which is one more than a power of two. Why? Because 129 is 128 plus one, and I can write it as 128 plus one to the seventh power. And this kind of gives us an idea about how we can compare these numbers because powers of two are you know, pretty common. And not only that, we also have 15 to the power 12, uh, and 15 as a base is also close to a power of two, if you think about powers of 2, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, you'll notice that, yes, 129 is one more than a power of 2, and 15 is actually one less than a power of 2. And as you know, 14 is 2 to the 4th power, I mean 16, and 128 is 2 to the 7th power, or, or you should know that, it would be nice. So this kind of tells me that I can use the binomial theorem, obviously, right? I can expand it. And I can do the same thing here, 16 minus 1, so on and so forth. But that's not the route I'd like to take. I'd like to take a different route. Obviously, you can use the binomial theorem. Uh, when comparing two large numbers, uh, binomial theorem is a very common method, by the way. Anyways, let's proceed. So I'm going to write, um, since uh, 129 is greater than 128, I can safely say that when I raise both sides to the seventh power, this is also going to be true. Because, you know, 7 is a positive power and the base is greater than 1. So now, this allows me to compare 129 to the 7th power, which is one of my numbers, to a power of 2. But let's go ahead and write down 128 as 2 to the 7th power. So we can make it as 2 to the 7 to the 7th, which is 2 to the power 49. So that's one of the inequalities that I would like to use. On the other hand, I want to start off with 15 to the power 12 and be able to compare to something else. So let's go ahead and save this for future use. And let's go ahead and take a look at 15 to the power 12. As I said earlier, 15 is one less than 16, which is two to the fourth power. So I can safely say that 15 is less than 16. Therefore, 15 to the power 12 is also going to be less than 16 to the power 12. But 16 is two to the fourth power. So I can write the 16 as two to the fourth to the power 12, which can be written as 2 to the power 48. So in other words, 15 to the power 12 is always going to be less than 2 to the power 48. And that is the other inequality that I would like to use. Now, how do you put these two together? Well, the very fact that 2 to the power 49 is greater than 2 to the power 48 is going to help us here. So we can kind of stitch these together and arrive at the answer. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off with my original number, 129, right? That's my original number to the power 7. And then I'll say that, okay, this is greater than 2 to the power uh, 128 to the seventh power, which is equal to 2 to the power 49. And as you know, 2 to the power 49 is always, always, always greater than 2 to the power 48, which can be written as you know, 2 to the 4th to the power 12, which is 16 to the power 12. And 16 to the power 12, of course, as you know from here, is greater than 15 to the power 12. And what does this give us? This tells us that from the transitive property of inequalities, and we have some equations, but we can just consider this as a chain of inequalities, we can safely say that 129 to the 7th power is greater than 15 to the power 12. Great. Now, even though this brings us to the end of the video, I'd like to show you, as I told you earlier, I'd like to show you what these numbers look like, and we're going to come back and finish up. So, 
When you look at these numbers, actually, they are pretty close. Check it out. 129 to the seventh power is 5.9446 whatever times 10 to the 14th power and 15 to the power 12 is 1.29746333 whatever times 10 to 14 power. So they have the same number of digits. So one of the numbers is roughly five times the other number. That kind of tells me maybe there's another way. Obviously, there's more than one way to do this and I'm pretty sure you're going to share that in the comments section. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.